When you think of warriors in ancient Greece, you think of some shirtless buff dude with a spear shield killing people, or Hercules, that guy. But honestly, who were the real warriors of ancient Greece? <laughs> Hoplites were the warriors of ancient Greece. They were citizen soldiers of the many ancient Greek city-states. For centuries, their fighting styles devastated the enemy because they fought as one. The introduction of the hoplites in the phalanx, which existed from 700 to 400 BC generally, marked the advancements in war, representing new ways of fighting and equipment. The advances the ancient Greeks made in war influenced many other surrounding people, and pretty much told them, your fighting's crap. Copy us. When you think of a revolution, you generally think of one battle of people against the government revolting, or some power from across seas, but the Hoplite Revolution isn't a real revolution. Before the revolution, the first depictions of Greek fighting were primarily in the Iliad. Pretty sure in these, they tell of Vassalus, the Greek word for king or monarch, and castle -like structures, towns, forts power to determine how many followers they had. The only and one of the many problems with this were the armor, the Kyrgyz, and the weapons were very expensive, meaning only the very wealthy aristocrats were able to buy the gear to fight. This meant that there were very few soldiers who were properly armed with armor and helmets, etc. And these soldiers were the elite of the civilization, so they were making all the decisions. So wars were fought with people, um, one First versus one of fighting instead of a phalanx. Around 800 BC, things started to chain, change along with new, cheaper ways to forge armor and weapons, along with improvements in cultivation. With these new improvements in blacksmithing came the citizen soldier, the hoplite. Now, the task of war was not just up to the aristocrat, but up to the people who wanted to really punch those aristocrats in the face. With these many advancements in technology, the population started to grow, leading to more city-states in Greece. Each city-state had their own group of citizen soldiers or hoplites to defend the city-state from their other neighboring city-states or from other civilizations. After this revolution, this new improved equipment led them to defeat attacks from their enemies especially the Persian Empire, because Greece didn't have a very good relationship with them. Now, in this video, if there's anything which you thought I got wrong, or I think I got wrong and want to correct, just leave a comment in the comment section, and I'll try to correct that in the next video. And also, I'm trying to work on ordering a microphone, which is not crap, so that'll be good. And um, just remember to subscribe, since I want to at least post um, videos like this, or hopefully better, daily to weekly, generally. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching, and that'll be it. Now, on a final note, this is my um, eighth time trying to upload this video since YouTube, for some reason, doesn't like it. I'm not sure why. Um, 
Yeah, I really, I really don't know. Um, so, yeah, hopefully um, this upload works.